a quick look at tags and how you might use them in a game. Now this might be a game where it's a game of collectibles where you're out trying to collect different things and you're wanting to know how many collectibles are left to find in the level. And so you could use tags to help you identify your items. To get started with this, I'm just going to create a collectible. So I'm gonna go into Blueprint class here and we'll go to Actor. And I'm going to call this BP, and it's just going to be a cube, a cube like that. And then let's jump in here real fast. I want to dock up top here, and then we're just going to add a static mesh, and then we're just going to get a cube static mesh, I mean. Now, the thing that was tripping me up about this is that there are two kinds of tags. There's actor tags and component tags, and I had a hard time finding the actor tag. So if, we, if we're in this blueprint and it's an actor, and we we select on self, we can search for actor. And you'll notice if we look right down here, there's this one called tags. And so I'm just going to open that up and I'm just going to type it in cube and compile and save. And then we're essentially done with this. Now, all I have to do, this is a tagged object. I can drag it into the scene like this and I can place it all over or I can just duplicate, you know, as many of them as I want. Let's say I want five or six of them here in the level. Let me just put seven of them in there. So I have seven of them in the scene. Now I can use this. So I'm going to right click again and I'm going to create another blueprint. I'm going to go actor and I'm going to call this BP underscore tag finder. And we're just going to double click into this. And this is all in the event graph. And I'm just going to drive this off of a keyboard press and we'll go keyboard one right here. And then we're going to search for the star of the show, which is get all, I think it's all actors, get all. Now I wanted to show you this. You see there's a get all actors with tag, and then there's get actors of class with tag. There's a big difference here. This is going to search your entire level for tags, whereas this is only going to search for that class. So this is actually going to be a lot faster if you know what the class is. So if you know what the class is, you want you should use this one. And I know the class is BP cube. So this will be really fast. And then here I can just type in cube. And then I just plug this in here. Now this is going to create an array for us. And I just want to know how many are in there. So I can just pull off of here and go length right here. I can just search here and go append. And it should be strings on the very bottom. I can add a pin here and go, there are space this many cubes left to find. And that's all I have to do. And then I can just get a print string right here and then just put this in there and this in here. I can put this to stay on the screen for longer than two seconds. So I'll just type in 10. And then the only other thing I have to do is on this tag finder here. So we set this to auto receive input player zero. And then I just drag this into the scene. Save and we go play. Now if I press one, you'll see it says there are seven cubes left to find. Now it looks like I should put a little space in there too. So let me click here. And just there are seven space cubes left to find. Okay, save that, compile, save. So now if I click in the level and I click one, you'll see there are seven cubes left to find. So that's all I had for today. I hope you found it helpful.